the holiday sales cycle entered its next phase. With Christmas presents bought and now opened, now it's the time to return some of them. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. More discounts were also awaiting post-Christmas shoppers today. Retailers are hoping things will pick up. A holiday sales report out last night showed sales increases just 0.7% uh, in 2012 over 2011, and that's the smallest increase since 2008. Expectations were for at least a 3% increase. The day after Christmas generally tends to be a big sales and returns day for retailers who hope the day's a net positive. Fox 11's Bill Miston with the shoppers live in Ashwaubenon's Bay Park Square this evening. And Bill, shoppers say it's been pretty uneventful. That's right, Tom. Shoppers say it's been easy shopping, uh, uh, and retailers are hoping uh, that traffic picks up. As you can see here at Bay, uh, Square Park Mall, uh, traffic has picked up earlier than it was, uh, better than it was early this afternoon. And market analysts say that retailers make up about 15% of their sales during this last week of December. And as far as the people I spoke with today, they say they were shopping for deals rather than waiting in the return line. Looking for that got-to-have item Santa may not have left under your tree this Christmas? The day after Christmas tends to be a good time to find it. Shopping, mm -hmm. looking for some bargains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, found some. Christmas card, Christmas towel, Christmas ornament. It's a great day. Probably the best day. Best selection. Otherwise, everything gets picked over. <laughs> Goes fast. Probably easier today than it was before the holidays. For Keith Lutz, shopping's made even easier when he's given a list of needed items from his wife. Things that she thought she got but perhaps didn't or has misplaced in all of the all of the holiday decorations. Just two, I don't know, sheer, sheer tops. Hats different colors. For cousins Hannah Van Uenhoven, Jenna Herkert, and Andy Kafka, they're trying to stretch their Christmas money as much as possible. We just had gift cards this year, so they, we thought, they, like our parents thought we were kind of like picky, so they gave us <laughs> gift cards to go to the mall and shop. Retailers say those gift cards are leading to fewer and fewer returns each year, with the most returns coming before Christmas. And gift cards have really helped reduce the number of returns that have happened in, uh, you know, after Christmas. But there are still a few out there. Everything went pretty smooth. We just had one little little hiccup in, in gift giving, but it was, it was all good. Now, Adam says uh, shopping traffic at his store in Ashwaubenon was similar to past holiday uh, shopping seasons, but he can't put a figure on sales totals yet until the end of the year. Now, we don't know how much merchandise might be returned this shopping season, but uh, taking a look back at 2011-2012, uh, according to the National Retail Federation, a little more than $62 billion of merchandise uh, worth, of dollars worth of holiday merchandise was returned then. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News.